Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Alright, since the last time I did what I said I was going to do, I finished up all my level grinding here. I got power up to level 2 here, which is fairly nice. And I started working on Guy's Cure. I really ideally want to get that up to level 3 uh, by next episode. If not, it's not the end of the world. Now, I also purchased Life, and I got Furion's Heal up to level 2, which is not bad. I want to get that up to level 4 as quick as possible, and try and get his cure up to level 5, and Life up to level 2. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how you do... A lot of you guys have been asking me how, how do you gain MP in this game, and well, I'll show you. You want to do all your grinding right here in the Land of Dist, our next destination. Just walk around here and fight a couple enemies. Now, do not go north of here, inside that mountain range, because you can meet up with Giguses, or Giants. Now, out here, you can't, I believe. But okay, so what you do, to gain MP, you want to try and make the battle last as long as possible. In order to gain MP, you have to lower all your MP by 20% of its max, so how you do that against weak enemies like these is you just cure your entire party and whatever spell you want to use say I want to level up fire just cast fire on your entire party and it costing 5 MP a pop you want to try and get uh, all these enemies out of the way until there's just one left but yeah, with it costing 5 MP a pop, you can just continuously do this until Maria has about, I don't know, I mean, even depleted, down to 0, or 2 MP, and she'll gain a massive amount of MP off one battle. And I guess you could say it's kind of a cheap way of doing it, but I see no better way, I mean... Yeah, I mean, with the fire, the fire's not going to kill you at all, especially since we all have ice shields on except for Maria. But with cure, with Furion's cure up to level 4, we're never going to die here. So yeah, you want to kill all these guys, get them down to about one enemy so they only have one chance to attack, and then do your grinding from there. And this will only take you probably about... I don't know, I mean, five minutes and you'll get all your MP grinding. Now, if you guys still don't understand how to do HP farming, it's the exact same thing as MP. You want to try and get your HP total, I believe, below 50%. That's what I usually do. And how you do that, just attack, just attack each other. And do not heal up during battle. You want to heal up after battle. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted for Guy. But yeah. Alright, let's head up here to the disc castle. Okay, here's a new enemy, a Stalactite. I don't know how the hell you pronounce that, but... Pretty vanilla enemies. Really nothing to worry about with them. But yeah, there is a kind of a cheap way. It's called the select cancel trick. I'll show you how to do it right here, but I'm not going to take advantage of it. To me, that's completely breaking the game. And I don't like doing that. Now what you do to... I'll do it once, but... Okay, so you select fight and click on the enemy and notice Furion's turn is done. Well, now you cancel it and the game thinks that you executed that command, so you can gain massive weapon skill levels, and it works for magic. So say, I cast Fu I cast for Furion Cure, and cancel it. The game thinks I literally casted Cure, so his Cure level will go up. Makes sense? Well, I'm glad it does, and if it doesn't, well, look it up in a walkthrough. No, well, uh, you guys get the gist of it. I don't think that's necessary, though. That's completely breaking the game. I mean, because you could do that at right when the game starts, and you'd be massively overpowered, and that's not fun to me. 
Who wants to be completely wrecking the game? I mean, that's not fun for anybody. And trust me, this grinding that I did, we are so gonna get our asses whooped still. So don't think I'm overpowered, viewers. Ooh, agility up. All right, let's head up here. Okay, to Disc Castle. This is Bobby, and he wants to go away. All right. Hey. What the hell did we do? Yeah, he's just uh, some kid. Anyways, let's head up here. You can't get into random battles here, so don't worry about it. And right here we get a tent. Now, Bobby and his mom are right down there, as you can see. We don't want to talk to them just yet. Instead, let's head up here. And yeah, we'll go over here first. But yeah, in here we're going to get a very useful spell, and you absolutely want to get that up to speed as quick as possible for Furion. Right here we get a soft, an eye drop, pure potion, a wisdom potion. I'll go over these in a moment. We get a curse potion, totally useless, a will potion, a pan, and a wing sword, the almighty wing sword. Now, let's check that out. We actually want to give this to Guy here. Take a look at his damage from 29 to 51. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a pretty abusive sword there. Anyways, now let's head south. And there's nothing in this room right here, but there is something in this room right here. And we get the Stop Spellbook, I want to sell that off. And the Stun Spellbook, I'll sell that off as well. But right here we get the Almighty and One and Only Curse Spellbook. Now I absolutely want to get this up to speed as quick as possible. This, with combined with power for Maria, is so abusive, it's unbelievable. And we want to teach that to Fury in there. Now what Curse does is it lowers the enemy's attack and defense. And you guessed it, we want to use that on those giants or gigases. And right here we get a unicorn horn. I believe if you use a unicorn horn in battle, it damages enemies. It's only a one-time thing though, I'm going to sell that off. But yeah, Curse is very abusive, and I'm going to take advantage of it. Now, in order for it, to, uh, for it to actually work, we gotta get it up to speed, probably around level 2, preferably 3 or 4. And you can do the select cancel trick to try and gain it really fast. I'm not going to, though. I'm just going to get it throughout the course of the next dungeon. Anyways, that's all we can get there. Right there, we gotta revive a very nice item, but it's completely obsolete due to Furion's life spell. Let's talk to this mom here. His father was a dragoon, and he was killed by the Empire. Oh, okay. If she has the pendant, she can talk with the dragon. A pendant should be on the second floor of the cave. Okay, let's ask her about the dragon here. Four dragons all died. Okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. A dragoon cannot fight without the dragon. Oh, okay. She says the same thing. All right. Let's head in here and talk to this this guy. What's his name? Just Dragon. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all we can do here. Now, what we want to do, we actually want to head north, and hopefully I can demonstrate the most dangerous battle around here. Yeah, as soon as we start walking north out of this place, you can meet up with Gigases, and if you don't have power, it's not going to end well for you. Okay, yeah, these are some guys you can meet up with around here. We already fought these guys before, though. Pretty easy enemies now. Especially since we have that brand new gear from Mysidia. Yeah, look at that damage. Guy is going to be very overpowered with that wing sword. 
I mean, heck, in one of my test runs, he was doing, like, 500 damage on a single enemy. Now, also, if you guys picked up the Flame Javelin for Fury, and I didn't, I think that's a little abusive to buy that right now. Uh, you'll be in luck, because then he'll be doing a lot of damage. Ooh, we got the most useless spell, Ruse. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Anyways, let's head north and hopefully meet up with a Gigas. Okay, but what awaits us in the disc cave? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy II! This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!